the number of possible positions will explode to 10 raised to 100, which is more than the number of atoms in the universe. We need to explore a lot of moves simultaneously and it's slowly uh, rendering the graph. The speed of rendering on the web page is much lower than you know, the computation speed of making the moves. And Hello, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another video. This is not a stream for a change and uh, in this video, I will be talking about why chess hasn't been solved yet and will it be solved in the coming years or decades? Uh, that is something we'll have to wait and watch. Um, but before diving straight into the video, uh, I want to take the time to thank every one of you who has been watching the videos for the past few days. And yeah, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel already, please. Uh, do so hit that subscribe button right now okay so um, why chess hasn't been solved yet and one of the primary reason that chess hasn't been solved is because there are just way too many positions that uh, computers can uh, churn through and you know decide whether a particular move is good or not so what I did over the weekend was actually I developed this uh, this uh, goofy little website uh, let me i will put the link of this website in the description so feel free to play around with it you can see the website here right it says count chess positions so the aim of this website is very simple uh, you specify uh, the depth uh, here depth means like how many moves you want to look ahead so depth one means only one move ahead so white will look ahead one and explore all its moves and time between moves uh, here it just denotes uh, the time of animation so let's let's look at how this uh, how this website works so let me just start this uh, what is also available on this website is you can actually just refresh and turn on this exploration graph so that will also build up the num moves in a tree-like structure. So this is how any heuristic-based algorithm works like Stockfish. So the depth which you see on your computer uh, when you analyze a game on, let's say, chess.com, uh, that depth represents how many moves ahead the engine is brute forcing. And uh, then maybe based on some heuristic, they prune out certain paths and tell you you know what is the best move so uh, in so why why those why those engines uh, like stockfish haven't solved the game yet that's because they are not brute forcing the entire game right they are just applying some heuristic to traverse through this tree you will you will understand what i'm trying to say here so for a depth one you see that the number of total possible positions were 20 now let me crank it up a notch. Now let's see what happens when I increase the depth to 3. Uh, let's also reduce the latency between moves. So all the moves will happen very quickly. I will also turn on this. So you see what is happening is that it's trying to explore a lot of moves simultaneously and it's slowly uh, rendering the graph. The speed of rendering on the web page is much lower than you know, the computation speed of making the moves. And here you see that even if we branch at just a depth of three, the number of positions are increasing exponentially. Like initially we started with 20, then it became 400. I think for a depth of three, there are close to 10,000 positions. So that's a lot of positions. And if you can imagine, you go up to a depth of say 80 or 90, the number of possible positions will explode to 10 raised to 100, which is more than the number of atoms in the universe, which is around like 10 raised to 80. So that's the reason why uh, chess cannot be solved. Today, the computational capability of any supercomputer would be, I don't know, terabytes, petabytes, 10 raised to, which is max, what, 10 raised to 15, 10 raised to 20. Uh, and that's it to reach a stage where we can uh, comprehend something of 10 raised to 80 i think unless and until 
we make some sort of a leap in terms of quantum computing it's it's visibly very hard uh, to solve um, you might have heard of table bases right table bases uh, so we have practically solved the game of chess if there are very few pieces remaining on the board so table bases they are available for i guess up to 8 pieces if i'm not wrong maybe 7 pieces so if there are only 7 pieces including the kings remaining in the end game then the game of chess is solved because uh, then we know how exactly what all possible moves are there and then you can objectively evaluate all those possible moves uh, but from the very beginning of the game since there are 10 raised to 80 possibilities you can't objectively evaluate all those positions and hence uh, the game is not yet solved if you just want to have fun with this website you can actually try up to a depth 10 so let's just put depth 10 with 0 second delay and let's not turn the exploration graph on because that that requires another set of you know resources so let's just start and see how the pieces move and here you can see some sort of you know quantum thing happening that there are multiple pieces at multiple squares at the same time so something like this has to be achieved in order to be able to solve the game of chess unless and until we achieve that exponential computational power uh, the game of chess is nowhere near solved and yeah with this i think i will end this video i don't know if if this is something which you like or enjoy but i was curious to see it for myself and i just uh, decided to make a little website so that other people who are interested can play around with it i hope you find this useful or at least fascinating um, i do and yeah don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks